everybody this is Lena happy Thursday so today looks like we have a full full schedule at the salon so um, I haven't been there in a whole week so it feels so weird kind of just driving back there after this whole week um, I just felt like it was like a past life of mine but I'm going back today she has a full schedule, so hopefully today is a good day. Um, this week has been, this past week has been a really great week. Um, so a little update on Sunday, I think you saw I had posted all my um, friends that I did their hair and their eyelashes on Sunday. Everything came out so amazing. Um, it was definitely one of those back to back back to back days and it worked out so perfectly i was just um besides my last client we went i kind of went 30 minutes over um so or my second client I went 30 minutes over but thankfully my third client she um was able to come 30 minutes later instead of at four so everything worked out perfectly and i ran into a little um bump because as i was doing my first client um i was blow drying her hair but i had like the ac on i had my purifier on i was you know i had all my other gadgets still plugged into the to the outlet and then i was blow drying her hair and all of a sudden i had my fan on all of a sudden the power goes out oh my freaking god i my mind was just like oh shoot i have two more appointments coming up how am i gonna do this without power um thankfully i was able to call the landlord and he um turned the power back on so glad because he said that he was almost about to leave and so i caught him exactly right before he left so thankful everything ended up working out smoothly just that one bump in the road um, I'm super proud of the eyelashes that I did. They came out so, so nice. Um, one of them, my first client, she actually had uh, a, like a photo shoot, um, video shoot the following day. And it was her first time getting her eyelashes done. And she loved it. Like her um expression after she saw herself in the mirror and how she just told me that she loved it and she said that I did magic and it was wonderful it was great to hear that and then after we blew out her hair because she has curly hair and after I blew it out she told me that I was um um what, was, what did she say something about like color people approve because they have curly hair so that was such a great compliment because um i always like i'm really trying to get really great at like my blowouts and being able to straighten the hair um without having to straight use a straightening iron right after and she told me that how i did it i had just used a blow dryer and I, I didn't even need to use the iron and she told me that the person that she used to go to would have to do the blow drying and then use the iron afterwards so that was a huge compliment to me um just because I know where I started where first of all I didn't know how to hold a blow dryer I didn't know how to use a round brush um I've never really um played with curly hair and so knowing where it came from about a year ago to where I am in the progress of my of my learning experience in cosmetology it's such a huge shift or like just not a huge shift but a huge progression that you know I'm I'm definitely super proud of myself um and then my second client she just wanted to do an all over color color cover some of her grays and also get her hair a little bit lighter so like a lighter brown um, so in the light, oh my God, when we walked outside, it just shined so beautifully. Super happy about that. And then my third client, we did a uh, classic eyelash extensions, which again, came out beautiful. She's always come to me. Um, and then we ended up giving her a big chop 
uh, for her hair. She had really long hair and we ended up cutting it short to her shoulders. Um, and she looked amazing. It looked so great. So that was Sunday. And then I had work that night, man. That was such a long night. I was so, my body was so exhausted, but I didn't get any rest um, because I was on such adrenaline the entire day that like I just wanted to eat and then I little bit had to go to work. Um, so no resting that night. So Monday, Tuesday, I had work also. Wednesday, um, I had my second therapy session and that went well um yesterday yeah it went well although she um is going to be out for the next two weeks and so i am thinking i am going to try to schedule an appointment with another therapist and just kind of see if um the connection is better with someone else um just so I have more things to compare to. Um, yeah. And then what else happened yesterday was after I got off the therapy session, I got an email from my car insurance. And I had, if you guys remember, have been following me for some time. Um, while I was in school driving into the parking lot, another student had head on collisioned me. Um, and I have a witness that was a passerby in the parking lot and he saw that she was speeding down the parking lot and clearly hit me. Um, he was a witness and so my insurance, you know, said that I was not in fault and I know I'm not at fault. So, you know, they paid for my repairs and everything and now this girl is coming back and saying that it's my fault and that I need to pay for her medical um, medical um, expenses, which was her just going to get a checkup basically. Um, and then they're asking for all my assets and I'm just thinking, why the hell do you need me to provide my assets? Like, you know, so that's happening right now. So today I'm going to have to um, probably lower her up which I will do because I know I'm not at fault. So you know what? If you want to play this game, we can absolutely do this. I know I'm not in the wrong. I have proof. I have evidence. I have a witness. Um, so, you know, I thought this was all over, but they want to come back for some more chump for just anything that they can get, which I cannot stand when people try to take advantage of other people knowing damn well they are at fault but they will try to twist and turn anything that they can um so they can gain some money um so this is very irritating to me and i am definitely going to re to respond back with a lawyer and um yeah and take care of this but yeah so that is the update so far for this week um I've been in traffic going to work right now. Thankfully, I'm, I leave a little bit early, but man, the traffic has been really bad today. But I'm almost there, so I hope you guys all have a wonderful rest of the week, and I will talk to you guys later. Bye. good morning and happy Saturday um, so a little update yesterday um, oh wait on two on thir <laughs> on Thursday um, the salon was super packed well we actually had three clients back not back to back simultaneously they were all friends and so they had like a little brunch here with us they end up ordering food, sandwiches, pasta. I was having to bring them forks and clean up their stuff and their trash bag. And I'm like, what is going on here? But whatever, it was fine. It looked like they all had a really good time. I um, spoke to them and I asked them like how long that they've known each other and where they meet. And I love friendships that are like 
so long term they've known each other for 15 years and like they're grown now and they have families and it's just so good to see that they all coordinate to come to the salon and get their hair done together to hang out um i understand that you know life gets in the way so sometimes it's just so hard to meet up with your friends but when you can and make it work it is so beautiful to see so i wasn't super upset about being like their little waitress um so it was cute um and then let's see yesterday and then after i went to go see my dog i picked up my dog visited my parents my pup stayed over with me and then friday i was going to take him hiking but then um i just kind of didn't feel in the mood anymore so then i just hit up my mom um i took them out to go walk we went to this like um plant nursery area which was really cool because i didn't know that we can go inside but apparently we did nobody told us anything so it was great um and then after i ended up doing her hair and so i gave her i redid her highlights because they were super grown out um and then i did a shadow root and then i did a red color and i think the red looks so good on my mom so it's so funny because before I was in cosmetology school, my mom has never put any color in her hair. So I had um, highlighted her hair previously um, a little while now. Um, and we just did like a like a lighter brown. So contrasting. And so that was cute. This time we end up doing like a reddish color. And I think it looks so nice on her because she has like the reddish undertone. She's light skinned, reddish undertone. So it like naturally brightens up her face um and then we i gave her a short cut she likes the cuts where like the back of her neck doesn't touch her neck and it's not hanging on it so we cut it shorter and i love that look on her it just brings everything up because when my mom has really long hair it kind of like drags everything down and so heavy so i love her with short hair and i'm just so grateful that i am able to do that she's so cute she's like i'm so lucky that i have a daughter that can do hair um and so that was really cute to hear um and what else what else and then we cooked we made steamed fish with some mango sauce oh i love it it's so good thank you mom um and now today i am here at the salon we are going to have a few balayages a few haircuts and that should be it oh and another update you guys okay so i finally finally committed um so i finally planned my trip to machu picchu in peru i am so so excited um that trip has been postponed since 2020 due to the pandemic i had to cancel everything my i had everything ready all i needed to do was take my butt there so I had to cancel my flight and that was such a hassle because they didn't want to give me my money back. Thankfully, with perseverance, I did. Um, and then I had my hotels all set up. I had my expedition all set up. Um, my taxi pick th picking me up and I had everything set. I just needed to get myself to Peru. And then the pandemic happened and then it lasted way longer than we expected. And so all that got canceled and I finally, finally feel like life is working itself out and I'm finally getting a hang of it. It has a groove. Um, like I've been saying, I've been trying to rebuild myself. Um, there has been a lot of transitions within the last three years. So... I finally feel like there it's kind of setting out and I really know where I'm going and what I need to do and so I think next year I have planned a 10 day vacation in Peru and I'm super super excited about it um if anybody wants to join me to go to and hike to my Machu Picchu I'm doing the four days three nights hike to Machu Picchu so we're gonna be um hiking with the group 
and they're going to guide us. They're going to put up tents. They're going to provide us food. Um, I think it's going to be an amazing experience. Um, I love, love to take the road less taken. So I didn't want to just take the train to um, the sun gates and the entrance of Machu Picchu. I wanted to hike and really delve myself into the landscape and how they lived and things like that. So I'm super excited. I've also purchased an additional hike um, to the Hyuana Mountain or something like that. So that one is also a very strenuous hike. So I hope, hope, hope after that three days, four night hike to Machu Picchu that I will have or I will muster up the strength to continue hiking another strenuous hike. But you know me, I love to push myself. So I'm super excited for that. But that's next year. Um, and then I also purchased my flight tickets to Puerto Vallarta for my really good friend's um, bachelorette party. I'm super excited because I have always wanted to go to Mexico and I just have not. Like, I just have not. And so I'm super excited. I'm going to go with a bunch of girls, a bunch of people I trust or, you know, and we're just going to have, I already know the time of our lives there. So it's going to be so fun. Um, what else? What else? But yeah, so lately I've still been studying. Um, the way I study is so, so awesome. It's very strenuous. Um, I'm just the type of person where I need to write down, all the information um that is really important because so then the information can stick in my head when i'm writing it sometimes when i read things it kind of just goes one in in and out um so i just need to write it so then i remember and then i kind of have like photographic memory so sometimes i feel like when i write down the notes i write it in a very specific way so that i can kind of like page flip in my mind I know that sounds crazy. Well, I don't think that sounds crazy because there's people who are photo have photogenic memory. So I can kind of page flip in my mind and I can remember where I wrote it, my arrows and how I kind of like wrote the notes for myself. Um, instead of like trying to memorize how the book wrote it, I memorize how I rewrite it. And that's how information kind of sticks on my head. I know I'm a little bit weird, but that's how I learn. And it's gotten me through school. I was like an A high honor student. I was in leadership. Um, I, uh, you know, went through college. I have my bachelor's. You know, I'm so school is not a problem for me, but I do know how I learn. Um, I think that's really important because if you don't know how you learn, then, you know, you're just kind of going by what someone, how someone else is going to teach you, where instead I make sure I grasp, grasp information the way I know I will at a high level. So that's that i've just been studying my butt trying to trying to continue doing hair i have two men clients coming to the salon tomorrow i'm super excited for that um i haven't done men hair in a long time so i really really hope it comes out well um I'm gonna, i've been watching a bunch of videos on men haircuts um the only nerve-wracking thing is that I don't know exactly what kind of cut they're going to look for. Um, so the person that asked me, I went through his photos just to kind of see what kind of haircut he has been doing for quite some time. So I've been kind of watching videos on that. But he's also bringing his son with him. And so I, I have no idea who his son is. I don't know how his hair is. And I don't know how he wants it. So I will let you know how that goes. Um after Sunday or after tomorrow but yeah so anyways you guys I hope you guys all have a wonderful weekend um and thank you for watching my journey um thank you for subscribing thank you for commenting thank you for liking my videos I love you all very very much I hope you guys are enjoy enjoying my journey so far um and I'll talk to you guys next week bye
Pleasure hands to take you in this 